Hey everybody. Um, I just uh, I haven't I haven't done this in a long time, particularly uh, just a little journal entry here, and uh, I just wanted to I don't know I to start off because I wanted to apologize um, to those of you who follow my channel, um, gracious enough to follow what I'm doing on here. Uh, I wanted to apologize first to you for being so distant from YouTube lately. Um, there's reasons. Um, not necessarily great reasons, but... <clears throat> and then, more importantly to those of you who I follow, um, uh, who, you know, we follow each other, I, I really want to apologize because there have been a lot of really great things that I've missed in the last couple months, and I hope that it doesn't reflect on the way that I appreciate and value you and your energy that you're putting out. As artists, um, I'm thinking right now. There's a video of Robbie and Ian um, singing when they met <coughs> in New York uh, a month or so ago. That I have not watched yet because I have been detaching myself from YouTube. But I'm dying to see that video, and I'm finally over my bullshit and uh, and, and and ready to get back involved into YouTube and. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of a strange thing to explain, but um, I know that there are many other videos out there. Um, Ian, I've missed a lot of your videos and uh, and just comments and uh, oh, I just I miss I miss everybody. Um, but I I also wanted to just explain a little bit about what's been going on. Um, it took me what twenty nine about twenty nine years to uh, to finally realize, hey, it's possible that I have. A few little mental um, unalignments, disalignments. I can't. I'm fucking up my language, but uh, oh, and I cursed, but whatever. I have family that watches this, they already know I'm a lost cause, so it's all good. But um, I kind of had a couple breakdowns. Um, <laughs> everybody has their stuff that they go through, right? And uh, they, you know, they always say, they always say what that your twenties uh, are. Um, it's a decade of, of questions, right? And that hopefully your 30s and beyond are years of answers. Not that there aren't going to be more questions, but I haven't gotten a lot of answers in my 20s until just about the last mm, half a year, maybe a little more than that. Um, but I'm finally, uh, I'm finally getting some pretty important you know, life-changing Zen Osha, like, um, truths sucking my life dry. Um, I was on antidepressants for a little while, um, trying to find one that would work for me. Um, just realizing that some things were out of whack, and, you know, everybody, I think, that goes through that, that, that wrestles with, you know, seeing the movie Prozac Nation, reading those kinds of books about depression and anxiety, and, you know, is it in your head, and then, you know, and, and then if you're a creative person, then you're gonna try to do everything you can to avoid those issues, um, of, of the issue of taking medication because you don't want to limit yourself creatively. And you know, I always, I always was a little bit afraid of that. Although I do know a lot of people who need to be on medication full time because it's just, you know, it's an imbalance. It's a chemical thing, and they can't control it. And I just never really was open to the possibility that that was me, but it is. Um, and right now, um, see, I, I had gone off the antidepressants for a while. I was kind of closed off emotionally. Um, I didn't want to express things. Usually this makes me feel good. That, you know, you know I, I'm sure that a lot of you feel the same way. And uh, and it was it was really not where I wanted to go. I was afraid to go here because I just was afraid of what would come out and, or, or more afraid probably uh, that nothing would come out. Um, which has kind of been the case. I do feel like I've I've been creatively smothered um, without medication or with medication. Um, so I, I mean I don't want to get into too many of the personal details. But it's just been a long year and uh, and I'm realizing a lot of things about myself that I focus on the wrong things sometimes and I put so much pressure and energy and tension on me and sometimes on other people um, 
in many facets. So I'm just kind of realizing now what's really at the root of, of a lot of those things. And, um, you know, I, I'm not saying that I think medication is the answer or that medication necessarily is bad for me and that I don't want to be on it. I'm just saying that going through that process of, you know, seeing a psychiatrist and talking about my problems and, and, uh, and, and getting on some medication and trying different kinds of medication, whether or not that's right for me for the rest of my life, I don't know, but, but it was the catalyst for me to really analyze some things from a new light and a new perspective. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a fantastic website. Um, if any of you are interested, you should go check it out. I believe it's called OSHA, O-S-H-O. It's, uh, that's the, that's the, um, that's the belief system. It's Buddhist. It's a form of, of Zen Buddhism. And, um, I'm not a Buddhist. I'd like to be. I think it's pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's just not, it's just not for me. But I like little bits and pieces of all different religions. I feel, I feel like, okay, all right, I'm going on a tangent here. I do kind of feel like every religion got like, you know, hey, here's this section of the truth, you know, and then another religion gets this section of the truth, and then they start adding their own bullshit in, and it's like, that's why I think religion is, you know, a crock of shit. But, um, in general. But I, I, that's not to say religion doesn't do good things. Yeah, you know, okay, aside from the, the religion, okay, I will not talk about religion anymore. See, now I got into religion, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, OSHA, Zen OSHA, alright, this is good stuff. Um, go to Google, and just look up, just look, just do this one thing for me, it will take you, I promise, um, maybe 60 seconds, maybe a little less. Go to Google, and, because I don't have a link for you, I suck, I, I'm not prepared. Um, go to Google and search for OSHA Zen Tarot. That's OSHA, O-S-H-O, -O, Zen Tarot. On the first site that comes up, click on that, and then go to the Zen Tarot section. On the side, there's a link on the left side. Well, I guess it would be on the left side. And uh, click on Zen Tarot, and then do a try single card reading. And just, when you do that, I'm not I'm not advocating the idea of tarot and all the it's not about that. I believe that tarot and Christian devotions are the exact same thing. It's just telling you some mumbo jumbo to get your head in the right set, you know? Um so if you check this out and just try one of those card readings, it's it's just you you'll get shivers when you read it because no matter what the reading is or what the card is there's just so much profound energy and, and insight into yourself through just these simple little writings that anyway they've they've made a, a lot of a difference in the way that I've been looking at at myself and uh, and so uh, anyway I've I've got this song it's rasterizing now it says right now I'm looking at the top of the screen up there right up here but it says it's got about a minute left. So I'm finally posting another song. I've been working on this one for a while. And uh, so I think that's about it. I'm going to shut up now. Uh, again, thank you so much for continuing to support and encourage me. And I miss you all very much. And I promise I'm coming back to YouTube to check everybody out. And I can't wait to see what everybody's been up to. I can't wait to see Robbie singing. Uh, so, uh, so I love you all very much, much, much love, and, uh, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll talk to you again very soon, promise.